Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install macOS Tahoe Beta 3 on VMware Workstation. Now, the first thing you need to have is macOS Tahoe Beta 3 ISO images for VMware and unlock the tools that patching the VMware's macOS for the win VMware Windows and mm, time and patient. Now, I download the macOS Tahoe Beta 3 on this Ted Richard website at here. So you can see it's how Beta 3, Beta 1 from Beta 1, Beta 2 from to Beta 3. Now they have got Terabox and my new file. Now, since I I've, I've already have the ISO file here. I need to download it. The next thing is you need to have is the local tool that patching the VMware VMware Windows. So because VMware default doesn't have Apple macOS, so you need a tool patching. Also, I'll put the link in the description, so make sure to check it. Click on here. Now choose unlock uh, V2.0.1. Now run this file as administrator. So this file is for the the ones who didn't patch but uh, before patching you need to remember the VMware install location and VMware x64 location. Now click on patch. But if you already patch Apple macOS so you don't need to patch it and it pops an error like this. Or if you guys mm, are didn't patch you can patch and then continue the video now uh before that before that you need to set up VMware workstation here and i'll put the link in the description so make sure to check it And also, check the description. I will put MacOS Tahoe Beta 3 in the video description. Now, open VMware Workstation. Now, go to Home. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Now, Choose your macOS Tahoe Beta 3 uh, ISO image. Now you're gonna choose Apple macOS and then choose the version as macOS 15. It's okay that you can choose macOS 15 for macOS 26 like macOS Tahoe. Now click on next. Now, choose the location that you want to install macOS Tahoe Beta 3. So, I want to change it to another disk. So, I want to install it on here, the macOS Tahoe Beta 3. So, if you want to change, it's okay. No problem. Now, the numbers of processor, uh, that means... On the motherboard, how many processor are there on your motherboard? So my motherboard just has one processor slot. And you need at least 8 gigabyte to install macOS Tahoe Beta 3. Now the select a disk type, so I'll choose in NVMe. 
Now, for capacity to install macOS Tahoe Beta 3, you need at least 80 gigabytes. Now, before that, you need. Before we turn on the virtual machine, we need to config something in Alpha. So, go to your VMware Workstation file location. Now, you can see here, this is macOS 15.vmdk. Now, right click and then choose in edit in notepad. Scroll down until you reach the bottom. Now, press enter and then type smc smc dot version. Now save it. Now click on power on this virtual machine. Now you're gonna wait for the macOS Tahoe Beta 3 to loading. All right, so because of I'm recording, I am recording, and macOS Tahoe Beta Three needs an, a graphics card like AMD RX graphics, but I don't have AMD RX graphics. So you can see it's pretty stuttering like this, and it's a little bit better than before. Now I'm gonna choose disk utility because I'm recording and I'm running a macOS Tahoe Bell 3 virtual machine because it's kind of hard for my computer to mm, stand off because my computer is from 2018 now you're gonna click on erase now if you want to name it again you can name it so I'm gonna name it into town. There's some storm right right here, so wait for me a little bit. Alright, so sorry of the last time because there's some storm out of right my house. So name it again. So I'm gonna name it into Mac OS Tahoe. Beta 3. Remember to format it into APFS and the stream in GUID partition map. Now you're gonna click on erase. Now click on done. Now close it. Now you're gonna choose install macOS to how better. Now click on continue. Now you're gonna choose the disk that you want to install. Now you're gonna wait for it to install and then we can continue the progress.
all right so when this screen pops up that you're good to go because you know because of the lag and stuttering issues of my computer so I can't continue because I'm recording and you know it's pretty stuttering like this because I'm when I'm running OBS and trying to run Windows it's gonna lag like crazy like this so I, I guess uh, when I reach a thousand subscribers, I think I should. I, I think I should. I think I will buy another computer. So it's pretty startling and lag like this, you know. Okay. This is like one frames. This is like one frames per second. And if you have the AMD RX graphics, you can try it on V machine because I'm r running and recording, so I can't continue. So if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the like, so share this button, and watch my new video. And now, goodbye.